Hey guys, Lek here. Another quick video when it comes to shower faucets. Here I want to show you how to reverse your hot and cold water flow. Uh, possibility is that you have some older pipes or somebody installed them incorrectly and your cold and hot is reversed. Or the most likely fix is the cartridge that's inside your faucet is installed incorrectly. I'm going to be showing this on a Delta model, but it might work for other ones as well. Uh, typically, your hot water is on the left your cold water is on the right. This is the standard way how faucets should be installed and how the water flow is in sinks, bathtubs, and so on. So, uh, as you guys can see, even it's marked here red. So normally when we go left, it should be hot. And on the bottom here, when we start, it's gonna be cold. If you have that issue that it's a little reversed, uh, we're gonna show you how to fix it. First, what you have to do is uh, turn off the water flow to your house. Uh, meaning go to the basement, find your water meter and turn off that knob, uh, which I'll show you right now. Uh, so you make sure to know what is coming in. So you want to find where your main water valve is, which is going to be next to meter, like down there. So I'm actually going to cut it up right here. So that cuts off water to my water heater and to the rest of the house. Now next, I'm going to go to the lowest sink in your house and just drain out any excess water hot and cold and so on. So now we drain the water from all the lines and now we can get back to the valve. Right. Now that's done. We got our water turned off. Now we can remove this cover right here. All you need is a hex wrench, also called the Allen key. In this Delta model, it's either gonna be a 764 or in this case, a, a 330 seconds uh, or like a 2.5 millimeter. Uh, so you should definitely own a kit of these and you know, the faucets usually come with it. There's a little hole right here or gonna be on the side here. We just have to remove this. Just loosen it a little bit. We pull that off and that's what I'm talking about. Here's our cartridge. We're gonna remove this sleeve, which just pulls right off. Sits on a little rubber gasket usually. Now we're gonna remove this lock nut. You might need a glove, but this should come up by hand. And this just comes off. A little wiggle. I got my glove now, should be easier to pull out. But if needed, grab the flathead and gently pop open with a little twist. And that's why we turned off our water because it would all be spraying out of here. So this is basically the cartridge valve. And the problem is usually, as you see, it says hot here. Hot was probably facing this way where the cold is. And that's why your waterfall was all messed up. So all you need to do is reverse it. Make sure hot is on your left side, pop it back in. And that's it. And this is the same way you're gonna replace if you ever buy in a new cartridge. That is exactly the process how to replace it. Just make sure you point in the correct way. So we're just gonna pop that back in. There is little holes in there, make sure, make sure you guys line it up. Or otherwise it won't go in. That's what these little arrows are for. So you might have to give it a pretty strong push. But then this will tighten it up fully anyway for you. So we'll get our nut back on. Get our sleeve on. This just slides right back on. Make it flush with the tip of this here. And we throw our handle back on. Make sure it's all the way in. Tighten that up. There we go. This is flush. And that's it. That should fix your issue. Uh, go back downstairs, turn on your water, make sure nothing's leaking, everything's good, and you should be all set. If you guys have issues with um, the water just not being hot enough, I did make a quick video, I'll put a link below, or just check out my channel, how to do a little adjuster in your valves and all different showers uh, to get that optimal hot water you want. So it's not scalding or not too cold and so on. As well as how to adjust your water heater and stuff like that. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Comments, questions, please do so, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And yeah, thanks.